for today's video, we are gonna. <laughs> so for today's video, we are gonna be going over life's most serious questions. And uh, what makes it special today is that we are gonna ask those questions and get answers from the viewpoint of a little child. And that today is going to be Lily, <laughs> because. teach them well, but hey, you gotta let them lead the way. And I just think the mind of a child is so much more interesting than what we have to say. So Lily, are you ready? I have a few questions and I want you to answer them, you know, as best as you can, okay? Now these are questions that everyday adults go through. Let's just see how a child will, you know, handle those situations. So, you ready for your first question? Question number one. Okay, Lily. Now, what would you do if you're driving, I do. Question number one: What would you do, Lily, when you're driving to your favorite store and you gotta poop? What do you do? I mean, I go through that like nine times out of ten when I'm driving. I gotta poop. That's a hard situation. Like, do I go to my destination or do I stop and you know take care of business? What would you do? Go to the bathroom quickly. Really cool, but like, where would you go? Like, because you're not home, what bathroom are you gonna go? To the store bathroom. To the store bathroom. Sometimes the store bathrooms are kind of yucky though. Do you, does it bother you? No. No? You still sit on the seat? Yeah. Does it smell bad? What if it smells like really stinky? No. No? Good. Good answer. Alright, you ready for question number two? Okay. Let's say your boyfriend is cheating on you with your best friend. What do you do? You tell him to get out of here? Darn right, you better get out of here with that bull crap. What else would you do? Kick his butt. Kick his butt, you are darn right. Oh my Kick him God. to the ground, right? What about your friend, the one who's doing cheating with you? You get mad at her? I hit that cool. No, no, it's a girl. You get mad at her? No, because she's your friend? No, I drove her mad at a tree to get stuck. <laughs> She said, throw him at it, throw, throw her, her at, at a tree. tree. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Don't be cheating on people with her. All right, are you ready for question number three? What do you do when your best friend tells you that they're pregnant, that they're going to have a baby? How do you handle that situation? Go home! <laughs> Anybody got time for that? I got to watch Jersey Shore. I got to watch cartoons. That's what you would tell them? You wouldn't say, oh, that's so nice if you need clothes. I can help you out with clothes or a baby. Go home! Go home. Why? Why go home? Yeah, why go home? Do we have a food to smash their bed? What? That's an old Russian expression. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't get it. We're not Russian either. Okay, that, that. All right, number four. Answer. What would you tell somebody? Now, you know, it's a pretty serious epidemic where kids are not finishing school. They just want to drop out and not go to school anymore. What would you tell somebody who wants to stop going to school? Go, uh, go to the store and then go to school. Go to, the, go to the store first and then go back to school? Okay. So Why should why should they stay in school? Yeah, why should they stay in school? You think they'll get, be able to get a nice job to get lots of money? Yeah, what can you do with that money? You think you can get lots of toys? What about lots of food? I don't even like food. Yeah, food's so overrated, right? <laughs> I like toys better than food. Yeah, toys, so you'd rather play food. with toys and starve to death? Uh, oh, Lord. Okay, interesting take. Here, sit down. So, Lily, when you get older, there's going to come a time where you're going to learn to drive, or want to learn to drive. What do you tell somebody who's just starting out how to drive? What advice do you have for them? Get your driver's lesson. That's right. Get your driver's lessons. And license? That's right. None of that bull crap of driving with a permit getting arrested, right? You want them to go fast or slow? Slow. Slow. How do you drive? Your on? How do you pretend to drive? Oh, that's how you drive? Slow motion? Kind of like a boat. <laughs> ah, how does Poppy drive? Yeah, real slow, right? How does Mommy drive? Is Mommy a crazy driver? Mommy dances while she drives? I knew it. 
<laughs> oh, so dang. She's putting her makeup on when she drives. <laughs> what else you got? How does Grandpa drive? Oh, a crazy driver, isn't he? I That's know it. Grandma's always like, Freddie, slow down. <laughs> slow down, Freddie. So, we're planning as Rodriguez family, moving to another town. Lily, what would you tell somebody who's new to town and wants to make new friends? What advice would you tell them? How can they get new friends? Find a friend and then go home with them. Sounds creepy. Go so, home with them? Come here. Creepy haunted house. Creepy haunted house, okay. Do so you let them play with your toys at first? Maybe go to a park? Yeah, play with them at their house while they're our neighbors. Okay. Like Haley and Zoe. Okay. All right, Lily, last question. This has been so informative. It's interesting to get your take on things. Last question. I forgot the question. <laughs> Here's my phone. Last question, and this is such an important topic for all of you. Lily, what do you do when somebody takes something from you and you want it back? I said, okay, I'll buy you a toy. So you just let them take it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, it's in your feelings, right? No? Okay. What do you feel about today's uh, state of the country and the president and how he's doing his job? Okay, I'm going to go on my feet. <gasps> That's what he does? What? I didn't say it, she said it. Why you hurt yourself so bad? If you were president, what would you do to make the, the place a better place to live? Okay. What's one thing you would do to make New York State a better place to live? Make more money. Make more money. I like the way she thinks. More money for Poppy, right? Shh, come on, Papa. Well, Lily, thank you so much for oh, your... more money for me. More money for you? Well, Lily, this was interesting. Eye-opening an interview with you. Thank you so much for your time. We'll have more questions for you later. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have any other questions you want to ask her, put it right down in the comments below. Subscribe, and uh, you guys have a good day. Later!